What's up, YouTube? This is Gilbert of Lala Lakers, back with Dizzy Gaming, here to bring you another video. And in this one, I wanted to talk about a trend that's been heavily discussed, especially with the recent 5.4 patch, which is what I'm going to be going over, the Viger support role. Um, so Viger has seen some play in the competitive scene recently, but not in the mid lane that where most people are accustomed to seeing Viger. Uh, I say Viger, you could say Vagar, however you pronounce it. But in the in the support role, Viger's been coming up, I guess you could say. But I'm going to explain in this video why I think it may be a short-lived stint for Viger support in the professional scene. So a couple of the changes that I wanted to go over uh, that were from patch 5.4. The delay on his E. So his E, Event Horizon, is obviously the main reason why Viger support has been showing up recently. It is a big ass AoE stun that immediately stuns anyone in the perimeter that it touches and it can either trap individuals inside if they don't want to be stunned or if they do run into the edge or through it it will stun them as well so right there just the ability itself let's say it goes off the ability itself is actually extremely nice it can make a lot of huge plays if they're stacked upon each other you know, you can easily get a three-man stun, you know, just by pressing E, which is something very good from the support uh, support role. The delay that has been added to his E is 0.75 seconds. So what this allows, I know a lot of people are saying, you know, this is the end. Like, this, it's not even good anymore. It's not even good. It's not even decent. It's horrible. I kind of don't agree with that. I think that before was a little bit overpowered and I think I share you know what Riot was seeing from it as well you know just instantaneously drop it and they are stunned for quite a while it's actually a pretty decent stun duration now you see it pop up think visually like a thresh ultimate you know you can see the outline of where it is going to you know form and and then it just pops up after the short delay and if you stand on the edge, then it will be stunned. You will be stunned. Now, with the change, the short delay, you can now use abilities. Let's say you have a dash like Lucian, a jump like Tristana, anything to that effect to get out of the area. Summer spells, obviously 0.75 seconds, as long as you don't have the, re the reactions of a bonobo chimp, you should be able to flash out of that. And uh, simply walking, you know, if you're more towards the perimeter, which I think is more so on the Viger, you know, you have to position it correctly. But if you're more on the perimeter of the uh, the attempted stun, then you can simply stroll out while you hold hands with your teammates. So a lot of people are not liking it. I'll get it. I'll get more into the stun right now. Uh, I want to talk about the other change that was made in patch 5.4, which would be the Q damage, or well, not the damage. The Q itself, the Q ability, is now a skill shot. So that's a little bit different from Viger. Before it was just, you know, point and click, instantaneous damage, allowing you to accrue stacks. But now, uh, although it can hit multiple targets, which I think is good, I think I really like that change. I personally like the skill shot change as well. But I can see how it affects it. You know, I can see how it affects Viger. It's not, especially, you know, I'm going to be more focused on uh, the Viger support in this video. So I may have a different opinion or you may have a different opinion on Viger mid. But the Q damage from a support, you want it to be as reliable as possible. You know, the uh, for example, you know, the Leona, let's say the E skill shot is, although it's a very, you know, linear skill shot, it has a pretty wide range for for it to catch someone. So it's a pretty reliable skill shot from the position and it allows you to set up more of your combo. I guess that's not really um, that it doesn't really have that much in common to do with the uh, Viger because it's more of a damage dealer. Maybe more of a Karma Q, you know. Karma's Q, you can shoot it. It's pretty good range because it explodes into that small AoE ball. And then if you have your ultimate active, then in a huge AoE ball. So that's a pretty re reliable damage from a support position, from a support skill shot. The Viger one, not so much. The new change really hinders his damage output, you know, harassment from the support position, I feel. Before, you just walk up, you know, Q, 
Event Horizon or Event Horizon Q, and then just walk back. And you got some harass left. You got some pretty decent harass, especially in combination with your AD carry, probably doing the same thing in that in that same time frame. But now there's no guarantee that you're gonna you're going to do the damage. And it's not like Viger support did a lot of damage in the from the get go. Anyways, it was not really a damage dealing support. Uh, maybe with your ultimate, but that's debatable. It's just it was one of those things where it helped to be able to say, okay, I'm going to walk up to this guy and do damage, so let's try to win this trade, because I guarantee that I'm going to do this damage. Now, a simple dash, you know, a simple stutter step could stop them from taking the damage that they would have usually taken. So it's definitely a change that hurts Viger support, I feel, more than the mid laner. Um, position. So another thing I wanted to talk about before I get into uh, my personal opinion about the E is we have from the Pro Patch Analysis version 5.4 on low, uh, low class YouTube channel. You can I'll put the link in the description if you want to check it out. I actually have a quote from High where he talked about Viger nerfs or the rework you could say. He's, and I quote, uh, this is, of course, Cloud9's mid laner high. He said, I believe that should kill him as a mid laner, and the E nerf is enough to kill him as a support. He'll probably be super weak. And I think that's pretty fair analysis, honestly. I, I think the mid laner Viger was already too much of a risk to play at the top level to play. And now, like I said, the Q change, the E change, what is the main theme of these changes is they're not as reliable as they were. So now, in you, if you already know pro level play, they don't like to play things that aren't that are risky. They don't like to play things that are risky if they don't have to. If there's not so much of an upside, like if it's high risk or medium risk, very high reward, then it's worth it. You know, it's it's worth it if you can get that top level uh, reward out of it. Whereas with this Viger support, I would say it was more of a low, it was more of a medium risk, high reward last time, last patch before 5.4. Now I want to say it's a more of a high risk, low reward, which is obviously if you're a gambling man, not like myself, <laughs> uh, you would not like those odds. So I definitely feel that you know high hit it exactly on the head. We probably won't be seeing Viger support in the uh, meta for the foreseeable future, especially after patch 5.4. I think it's kind of a shame, but I do want to say, as I wrap up this video, I do feel that people are overreacting a little bit. Now, I know this isn't a lot of the community's favorite patch. There's a lot of changes that a lot of people are having a lot of negative feedback on, but to say that Viger as a champion is completely done because there's a short delay on your E and your Q is now a skill shot, I completely disagree with. I think high-level Viger players, now there have been some high-level Viger players, I've seen it on the front page of Reddit, they say, oh, well, Viger's done, I'm not maining Viger anymore. I find that very hard to believe. I think it's an overreaction, kind of a, they took it personal, like, because Viger wasn't exactly the most top tier mid laner or support anyways. He was very he was pretty good if you played him correctly. But he wasn't amazing, so they kind of took it personal with like, why are you nerfing a champion that isn't even top tier? But I feel his skill set before was a little bit bad for the game. I think that the position of his E is the main thing that can get Viger support back into play. I think if you play it correctly, you can use it like a zoning tool. So, for example, you know, Gangplank's ult is known more as a zoning tool than it is to do damage because it hits in random locations. It's not dependable. But let's say your red side and your jungler comes through river, river and the enemy team is, was pushed up and now they're retreating. If you can place the E to where they go, it takes up a lot of surface area. I would say it probably takes up about an eighth of your visual screen. Uh, I put my hand out like I can just, oh yeah, like my geometry is so fucking amazing. But nonetheless, um, 
it can put out it can put out a lot of area it will cover saying pretty much okay team okay enemy team if you want to escape you're going to have to go that way right through my stun and if you do we're going to shit on you or you can go the long way and we're going to know where you're going and still shit on you so i still feel that it is possible to make it work uh, I just feel that people aren't looking at it the right way. They're, they're trying to get it back to the old, you know, plop it right where they are and just drop damage on them immediately. Whereas I think they got to do more planning. I feel they have to do more planning to the, with their E. And its position is more important than ever, most likely. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the last thing I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really like Viger support. I do hope that it sticks around. I think it's a really niche pick, but it's very cool for the game if it uh, if it works out. But we shall see. I'm going to keep testing. Hopefully you do as well. And maybe you can prove the community wrong in showing us that, uh, you know, hey, it might still be viable. We shall see. <laughs> so thanks, you guys, for watching. Remember to like the video. Comment down below. What do you what are your guys What are your guys's? thoughts on the situation holy shit i think i had a stroke just kidding um <laughs> so uh, remember to subscribe for more league of legends videos and uh the website is coming very very soon i've actually finished up most of how it's going to look i'm extremely excited it's coming out fantastic and i cannot wait to show you guys so remember to be on the lookout for that there will be a couple of articles from some of our great content creators on launch and I'm hoping to do something big for launch we shall see how that goes but nonetheless thanks you guys for watching I also do have a big announcement coming up if you are interested uh, so stay be on the lookout for that uh, check out a couple more videos here and have a great day stay competitive